Hi everybody, welcome to your art class. I'm really excited for today, we're gonna have a lot of fun. And I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be doing here. So, check this out, look at all those. This is the character design challenge, all right? So your challenge today, we're gonna spend the whole art class drawing as many different characters as you can think of. All right, this is just like a really fun thing to do, but it's also excellent practice. Uh, I personally love doing character design. It's one of my favorite types of art because you get to make up people, animals, creatures, robots, little foods or whatever. It's just so fun to be creative in that way and make little things that look like they're alive and have a little personality. And the more you do it, the better you get at it and the more fun it is. So, of course, if you just draw a whole bunch of different characters, then you're going to get really good at it, and that's what we're going to do today. So by the end of today, you're not only going to have a really cool artwork and all these fun characters that you can do whatever you want with, but you're going to be better at character design, and that's really exciting. So if we look at some of these examples here, you can see some of them, they drew the same character a couple times. That's something that people do with character design just to show, like, you know, like this one is showing different angles. This one here is showing different emotions, different feelings that the character shows and how they show them or the ways the character moves. This one looks like they're showing different clothing options for the characters, right? So there's a lot of different ways you can do this. But instead of just doing one or two characters today, I want you to try to make as many as you can. All right, so you don't have to think about spending a whole lot of time on just one. I want you to think about how many different ideas can I come up with and trying different things. All right, so I'm going to be designing some characters and you can just go ahead and join me. Now, one thing that I start out with when I design a character is just the basic shape, right? Each character starts with the basic shape and that's why I'm going to use a pencil first. <coughs> Excuse me. That's why I'm gonna use a pencil first because the pencil has an eraser on it. So you can lightly sketch out the shape of the character first and then you can add the details in later. If you look at some of these characters, like over here, check this out, they started with a circle. So if you don't know what to do for a new character, just draw a weird shape and then come up with a character after that. This one's a circle, this one's like a little rectangle and this one's like a, turns into a little triangle. You see that? This one has kind of, look at the shape of this one. It's kind of like an oval that's flat on the bottom, right? Um, even this elephant here has kind of like a squared sort of head, shape for the body. So the basic shapes are a good place to start, okay? Um, so I'm, I wanna be able to leave these up for you to see. So I'm gonna leave my camera this way. Struggling with my camera a little bit, just give me a second. There we go. Perfect. Okie dokie. So I would, uh, I would advise you to just start drawing and just draw right along with me. It doesn't mean you have to draw what I'm drawing. You draw your own thing. And I'm gonna actually get some more light in here too. Okay. I've also got some crayons here in case I want to add a little color. And the reason I have these up is so that you can get some inspiration. Okay, inspiration basically just means you get some ideas. You're not going to copy them exactly, but you can, you know, get some ideas from them. Like maybe I want to make a slime monster like this guy, but make my own slime monster, right? That's what, that's what I'm going to start out with. And I'm going to start with a shape. Hmm. Mine will be a taller neck, 
and a round head, and then slime on the bottom. I have one big eye. That's interesting. And maybe it has some slime hands that kind of crawl around separately. That's a really weird slime monster. I'll give it a little smile so it doesn't look as scary. There we go. And mine's gonna be blue. And I'm not gonna spend too much time on this one. You know, the coloring doesn't have to be perfect for this because we want to be moving on to another one and make as many as we can. So it's kind of an exercise in trying different things. So if we get too hung up on one, just put the basic colors to show what colors it's supposed to be and then you can move on. Put some little bubbles in it. The slime could have little bubbles like that. That's fun. Maybe I'll make one that looks kind of like one of these, these happy little friends here. And they have like a round head, and I'm sketching lightly first. Light shapes first. A round head, a little shape like this for the body. And just little, little legs, teeny little stubby legs. Maybe this one will be me, but in that style. Shape for the hair. Cute little smile. Little happy eyes. And I'll give myself a little beard. And then what I do is I go in and erase the lines that I don't need. And I can draw a little harder over the lines that I want. You know, you can always go over and outline a little more once you decide which which ones you like. And I'll put a little heart on my shirt. Maybe I'll make one of those little popsicle people too. Those are pretty cute. So it definitely has this shape. And then shape for the popsicle stick. And I'm going to make up my own expression. It's going to be kind of a crazy one.
know what to do next, so I'm just going to start out with a shape. Oh, that reminds me of a mushroom. Maybe I'll make a little mushroom guy. That's cute. And the mushroom has a little friend who's a little worm that lives on it. They're good buddies. And you can color them or not. You don't have to color them. What's important here is just coming up with a character's design. If the color is an important part of the design, yeah, go ahead and color it. Ooh, maybe I'll make a Lego character. That's fun. I always like the Lego space guy, so I'm going to make a space guy. And right now I just kind of looked around me to see some different objects there around me and thought I'd turn one into a character. So I'm going to draw a little crayon friend, because there's a crayon sitting right here. I'm going to think, if this green crayon had a personality, what would it be like? This makes me think of what if there was like a a Toy Story kind of movie about crayons or art supplies. Wouldn't that be fun? All the art supplies come alive when you're not drawing with them and you get to see their adventures.
Alright everybody, I hope you're doing good out there. I sure having fun with this one. I want to kind of show you some of what I'm doing here. Maybe give you some inspiration. Let's see. Maybe you could try, if you're looking for some ideas, try drawing a really fuzzy character. Try drawing a really tiny character. Try drawing your own ghost character. Try drawing the sun and the moon in a funny way. Try drawing a food. Like, this is a sushi. There's some ideas for you. Maybe use your favorite animal to make a character. This is a little frog wizard that I like to draw. Some cool ideas for you. We've got... Hmm. About five minutes left. Okay? So keep on drawing. And at some point I'm going to show you something cool before we go. Okay, well, I have a cool video to show you. So you can keep on drawing, but I'm also going to show you this video because this is a cool artist on YouTube that does this kind of character design art and also kind of like a doodle style of art. So you see he drew out his characters first with pencil and then you're going to see him go in and outline them with a pen and color them. And I find this really impressive, so check it out. This is just an example of how good you can get at this kind of thing if you just keep practicing more and more and more. That's the only big secret to it, is just practice. You just draw a lot, just like we did today. Just keep drawing more and more characters. Challenge yourself, try different things. Get some ideas from other artists too to expand your little library of tricks that you have for your art. That's a nice fuzzy one. Some fuzzy ones, some slimy ones, all different facial expressions. That one's holding a pencil. Little objects in there, a little ghost. I'm so impressed by this artist. I always love watching his videos. superhero And the color. He's very good at coloring using those markers.
And it's all centered around a watch. Now he's gonna use his colored pencils to make a very realistic looking watch with shadows and textures. Very impressive. Wow! What a cool bunch of characters! Very cool. Alright. Alright everybody, well that's our art lesson for today. I hope you had fun. Um, hang in there everybody. Keep making some art. And if you haven't already, join the Google Classroom for our Art Hangout. Okay, I'll put the link to that in the description. There's a code that you put into Google Classroom, and you join the Art Hangout. And what that is, is once a week, we have a little Google meeting where we hang out and we make some art together. It's really cool. And I post the times and the links to that in that Google Classroom. So all you got to do is join the Google Classroom with the code in the description and you'll get everything you need from there. It's not something you have to do, just an optional fun thing, because it's fun to hang out with the students and make art together and share art with each other. It's good for you. All right, take care everybody, and remember, you don't have to turn this one in, okay? We only collect one per trimester, and that's gonna be at the end of the trimester, so not for a while. But you can feel free to send me pictures of your art if you want, because I love to see your art. Okay, bye-bye, love you all, take care.